Hey guys, so I finally got around to doing a cutaway nail design tutorial. Now because almost every design on my nails are different from each other, this is going to be a long video, so I'm going to get right to it. You're gonna start off, like always, with a base coat of your choice. And then right after, you're going to use a black nail striper. If you don't have nail striper, you can just use a black nail polish with a very thin paintbrush or a toothpick. So the pinky is probably going to be one of the more easier designs. You're basically just going to do an upside down V or a right side up triangle on your nail. And of course you don't have to use a tape, but I just really like the clean cut edge that the tape provides. Now for the cross on your ring finger, you're going to do two parallel lines running down the middle of your nail and then two parallel li little lines going across your nail in like a lowercase t formation and then just fill in the corners of your design. And of course you don't need to use tape but to be honest I'm just very messy and I cannot get a very clean cut cross without them. It's just not possible for me. You can get these tapes on eBay if you're looking for the same results. They're super cheap. They come in a bundle of 10 for like less than $2. Really cheap, guys. But anyways, after that, you just finish off by tapering the ends of your cross. So for my middle finger, I decided to go with a chevron design. So I basically had two separate tapes come together and end in a point or a V formation and then just fill out the spaces in between. So as you can see, there are a little slivers of tape that are going to be inside the design, but I was just too lazy to correct this, so what I decided to do instead was after I finished removing the tape, I was just going to fill it in by free drawing it. And because most of the shape is already done for you, it's pretty easy to just fill in the V at the end. So this design was mostly improvised, but what I should have done was have four rows of tapes going down the nail instead of just three. So if you made the same mistake, no problem, just add the last chevron slip at the very end of your nail. And then for your pointer finger, you're just going to have two rows of parallel tape going horizontally across your nail, so leaving a gap right in the middle. Whenever you are done with the use of a tape, make sure to remove it immediately. The last thing you want is having your nail polish dry. If you let your nail polish dry before you remove the tape, your tape is going to peel off the nail polish and it's just really annoying to start over. So make sure you work fast and remove the tape as soon as you're done using it. Okay, so finally we're on the thumb. Again, another improvised design. I basically just had a very skinny X go right down the center of my nail and just painted on the sides of it. Another pro tip, make sure you remember 
which tape goes on top so you don't run into this problem that I'm having right here. If you do, you can always clean it up. Try to do this as quickly as possible before the nail polish dries and then you can just correct your mistake. And then finally, just clean up with a cotton swab dipped in nail polish remover to make sure that your design looks super clean. And now finally, we're moving on to our right hand. So our pointer finger and our ring finger designs are going to be the same, just swapped places. And our middle finger is going to be different. Instead of the chevron design, we are going to have three parallel lines going down the nail. And the way I created this was by having two pairs of tape going down on each side of our nail, making sure that there's an equal amount of space between the two tapes on either side so that we have a very symmetrical looking design. So another little tip, make sure that when you're using the tape that you press down on your nail so that you have no air bubbles because my middle stripe had an air bubble. And if this happens to you, it can always be easily fixed with a cotton swab dipped in nail polish remover like I'm doing right now. So for my pinky, I was too lazy to use striping tape, so I just decided to freehand draw a V. So for the last nail design, I just had the tapes go across in an X formation and then filled in the gaps at the top and bottom. And finally, finish off with a quick dry top coat. And that's it guys, you're done. So this is definitely my longest tutorial by far that I've ever done. But I'm a really big fan of the mix and match nail design. So let me know if you guys want me to do more of these. And as always, thank you guys so much for the lovely comments that I receive. And please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!